Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial video, I will show you how to use um, Bitly and the Google Analytics campaign URL builder to track whether or not your domain that you're leasing out to a company is actually referring traffic to that company's website. So oftentimes in a uh, domain lease, most of the time, what what tends to happen is, and I have a um, makeshift domain that I've registered, kscdev.xyz. I've registered that domain as the example uh, company website that will uh, use this domain to basically redirect its traffic to my personal website, alvinbrown.com. In most cases, alvinbrown.com would be another company that contacted you about leasing traffic from your domain or you've contacted them about maybe leasing uh, the domain and forwarding traffic to their website. Nevertheless, in most cases, what tends to happen is you would come in to set uh, the name servers and you would basically set custom settings here under the name server. So how you see the ns33.domaincontrol.com, that company, they would basically give you an IP address of their web server or their web host provider uh, would give them name servers to point the domain to. That's how most are handled, but in this case, you're not able to track personally that your domain, um, in this instance, the kscdev.xyz, is actually, um, you know, basically referring traffic to that to that website. You wouldn't be able to see origin, the number of um, referrals that the domain had sent, and so that's what I'm about to show you next and so uh, we have our domain name here and like I said I'm using GoDaddy as the domain registrar for kscdev.xyz in this case what we're going to do is use a forwarder um, and so we want to understand and go is kscdev.xyz is it forwarding traffic to in result which is another company's com address or whatever their domain is in this instance we're going to use alvinbrown.com so what you'll do is head over to the Google Analytics um, campaign URL builder now I have another video that I walk in depth uh, through how to use this tool and so for the sake of that video I'm not going to go through all of uh, the details here essentially what we're going to do is set a URL which is uh, www.alvinbrown.com and then we're going to give it the campaign source meaning who referred traffic to alvinbrown.com which will be kscdev.xyz once you set those in there if you scroll down to the to the uh, scroll down the web page a bit it'll give you basically a generated campaign link we're going to copy this link here uh, and then we're going to go over to bitly so go ahead and create your Bitly account. I've already created mine. And what you'll do is you'll click this Create Bit Link, and then you'll paste in that link that we copied from the Google Analytics uh, campaign URL builder. Paste it in. It'll then give you a shortened Bitly link. So now you have a way of seeing from your side of whether or not um, your domain, KS, kscdev.xyz, or rather kscdev.xyz is our domain in this, in this uh, example, we have a chance to see what the total clicks are, you know, um, the type of refer, and then the location of the person that typed it in or, you know, clicked an advertisement link or whatever. So we take that Bitly link, which we copied, go back into the domain go to forwarders and I've already set this link up just for the sake of time and you can see there's our bitly link that's there we'll just go ahead and update it and in most cases you may have add one if you're using GoDaddy and you're not added adding a uh, forwarder you've not added a forwarder yet nevertheless go ahead and we'll update this we will paste in the bitly link and like I said, I'm not going to save this because this is the same link that we've already um, set up. And so once you set it up, then you would hit save. It would then go, uh, or rather you would hit update. 
it would bring you back to this page. You would see it just like this. Then you would hit save. Then it would let you know, hey, it's going to take a couple of minutes for this to take effect. Once it takes effect, all you have to do now is go to a browser, type in KSC dev or your, your domain, and then instantly it redirects to the end domain. Now, in this case, alvinbrown.com is forwarded to an emoji domain um, of ab.to. And so, yes, yeah, emoji thing, domains are a real thing. I'm not going to cover that here. You can visit my site, alvinbrown.com, and click that link and learn more about emoji domains. But essentially, what you've just done now is Bitly allows you to see um, whether or not that link has been typed in, um, has been viewed. And you can see now, now we have three, basically three clicks for that link which is the www.alvinbrown.com. So I'll go ahead and enter it one more time just to show you. So we have three. We'll enter it again and it should be, should be four. There may be a slight delay or actually it may have, it may recognize my IP address already. And so let's see if I can get it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to type it from uh, another computer just to see if I can actually get it to change. And so we see that there's five there. And let's see here. Let's see. Can we get it to change? Okay, so now if we watch, we have three and five here. We'll refresh. So it will come up. There it is. So now we have four clicks. So you can see from your side that you're sending this company, which wouldn't be my name. It would be the company that you're sending it to. Um, now you're able to track traffic for it. Now the UTM parameter or that source there is if that company uses Google Analytics, then they'll be able to see from their Google Analytics side what the referral source was. So you could say, hey, I know per Bitly that I sent you, you know, 233 contacts in a given month or uh, users in a given month. What does uh, Google Analytics say? And so it kind of creates a checks and balances from your side and their side and keeps everybody playing on a level field and honest field. Um, but essentially, if you want more information about that link, you can just click here. And then it'll show up. It'll show up here on the right hand side and you can go down and see, you know, the number of of clicks, the number of refers, um, it'll give you all these different fancy charts and locations as well. Um, and you can, so Bitly is free, but you can definitely upgrade and release more add-on features on top of this. So this is just one of the things that I say, hey, it, it, if you want to lease your domain to a company, this is one way that I would go about tracking whether or not your domain that's been leased is actually sending traffic to to the company. And it's a good it's a good, uh, like I said, equalizer for you to have a tool as well as the company to have a tool in, in terms of uh, Google Analytics. And so as long as you use this process, you use the Google Analytics uh, URL builder to create the link and then paste that link from there into Bitly and then take the Bitly link and put it back to your domain and forward your domain to the Bitly link, then all will be well. And you saw how quick it was. It's it's not slow um, by any means or any stretch of the imagination here. I mean, it's pretty instant, it's pretty quick. So I hope that helps you understand how to, uh, one, be able to make a little change with your, your uh, your domain by leasing it to companies, leasing the traffic uh, is definitely better than uh, parking 
domains, uh, which has definitely bit the dust in the last 10 to 15 years. Uh, not much money really is being made, uh, not unless you have a you know top shelf domain name. If it's a mediocre domain name, it's likely not making parking revenue. Nevertheless, this is yet another open door to lease your domain to a company uh, that's interested and um, you know being able to provide analytics for it. So whether it's an emoji main, domain that's being leased or whether it's you know just a regular old .com or any other .dot uh, tld top level domain extension, then you know I say hey use this approach and um, you know like I said it should get you the data that you need for both the company and yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me uh, comments and questions below the video. As well, I encourage you to sign up, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as visit kickstartcommerce.com and sign up for uh, my newsletter that I deliver uh, daily as well as um, on a weekly basis. And so other than that, that's all that I have for you. Please feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com where you'll learn more about search marketing and domain investing ideas to grow your business. That's all for now.